G'day everyone, Billy here from Western Australia. Well, uh, guys and girls, I just thought I'd do a quick video on showing you how to straighten up a star picket. A really, really easy method. Uh, so, as you can see, the star picket's got a boomerang shaped curve in it. It doesn't look so bad through the camera, but if you look at it without the camera, it's really, really bad, guys. So, just a bit of a close up. So, it's pretty bad. Uh, so what we're going to do guys is grab this star picket and use a bit of uh, force by putting it in this little uh, A-frame here of my old rainwater tank stand and just pull it towards me just uh, using a bit of uh, a little bit of strength but it's not too bad guys. Sometimes uh, they can slip as well so sometimes you'll get the star picket where the bend is in, the, uh, in a really bad area but this one's pretty good. But sometimes you'll get the star pickets obviously bend on the actual edge there and it's more or less impossible to uh, fix. But this one's got a pretty good bend, so we should be able to fix it. Uh, before I show you how to uh, straighten it, guys and girls, there's another really good method by using the A-frame of a car trailer. So I'll just show you a bit of car trailer over here, my old camper trailer. And uh, it's a bit covered, but you kind of know what I mean. So basically, uh, you put the uh, star picket in between the A-frame down the bottom there. But, you know, it's a little bit hard to show you. But basically, use the A-frame. You'll, you'll work it out, guys. It's really, really easy just using the A-frame of a trailer. So we'll go and uh, attempt to straighten up this star picket, guys. So here we go. Wish me luck. Put the tripod. All right, here we go, guys. So you need to see the curve. Pretty bad. Basically, we're just going to put it in here and pull it towards me. So it should, we should be able to straighten it up pretty, pretty good, guys. So just sometimes it'll slip. Just pull it back. Just be careful, guys. Make sure there's nothing sharp behind you. You know, if you do fall, you don't get stabbed in the back by another star picket because I've actually got a really bad wound on my hand. I'll show you before I finish where I was climbing up that old camper trail and I fell down and landed hand first on this on a star picket like this. It's a really bad scar. My fingers all, you know, I ruined my little finger. So anyway, let's go. Just pull it back. Bent it back a bit too far. Yep, beautiful. Alright, guys, look at that. Just by using the bottom of a rainwater stand or a the A frame of a car trailer or any other uh, piece of metal, just walk around your house and you'll find something. Nice and straight now, guys. I can use that. But anyway, guys, I was falling off my, I was climbing up my trailer to fix something, and I fell off. And the, I don't know if you can see this, but you know, obviously when we fall, we reach out, and I reached out and landed on. Literally, my hands landed on a star picket. Probably can't see, guys, but give it a bit of a clean. Probably can't see, guys, with my fingers. It damaged my little finger. I've got a really bad scar. So just be careful of star pickets, guys. 
Anyway, just a quick way of uh, straightening up a star picket. Thanks for watching, everyone. See ya.